Welcome to Flash CS6 Tutorial 38 Combining Flash FLA Files I have my Flash CS6 program open. I'm going to start a new FLA. Make sure Action Script 3 is selected. And in this tutorial we're going to put a couple more FLAs up, up here at the same time and we're going to show you how we can uh, take the data or like uh, images or or uh, symbols, movie clips, stuff like that, action code and how we can copy and paste from one FLA to another. So we want to, I just want to open up some uh, FLAs. There's this one here. It's called Flash CS5 Tutorial 14 Click, Drag and Drop. Uh, that particular uh, video is uh, in my playlist on my YouTube called Mostly Flash CS5, but even though it's CS5, it's going to work equally as equally well on CS6. So I'm going to open that one up, and I'm holding my control, and I'm going to open this one up, Flash Tutorial 2, Test If Two Objects Hit Using Action Script 3, and that one is in a playlist called Flash Bits and Pieces. So I'm going to open them up, and there's the three up here. This one I'm going to rename. I'm going to click on that one, and you see how it turns light in the background. If I click on them, that's the one that's opened on the stage. So this one here I'm going to save as. I'm just going to call it Tut as in Tutorial 38, so I'll know what it is when I need it. And we're going to start by opening up this click, drop, and drag. Now, you've got two, in many ways, but two things you can do. You can do these two tutorials and then restart this video. You could do that if you are a person that has to or learns more from doing while being shown. So that means you got to do two, two videos. Or you could just follow it through and then see if you can pick up enough to do it on your own, something like that. So I got this click, drag, and drop opened up. I'm going to the timeline, just looking at it. I'm going to open the library and this Balls movie clip. Right click on it. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to open my tutorial here, 38. Open my library and just paste it in. Now that ball is in here and I can use it. I'm going to call this layer Ball. B-A-L-L. -L. Open the library and click on that ball and drag it over here. Now I'm going to be writing code on this ball. So while it's highlighted, go to the properties panel. There it is. It's the ball movie clip. And I'll give it an instance name. B-A-L-L-1. -L ball 1. Shift underscore MC. You need an instance name if you're writing code. So that's one way we can copy something from from a, another FLA, in this case a movie clip. You can copy anything that's in the library into the library of another, of another FLA just by doing what we did. It could be an image, it could be a button, it could be a video, it could be sound, anything at all. So and then I'm going to open this up, this one up. I'm going to show you another way to copy something. There's the ball movie clip there, I turn it on and off. This is the square. So I'm going to click on that, right click, I'm going to copy the whole layer. Copy the layer. Open my, my video that I'm working on. Lock the ball layer. Right click, paste the layer. And there's my square. Now, what's good about the square, if I highlight it and open the properties panel, it brings along the instance name when I do it through, um, through the um, timeline here and layers and not do it through the library. I'm going to lock all the layers here. Now I'm going to insert a layer. Call it Action Script AS. Now I'm going back to that drop, drop and drag one. I'm going to open the action code and I want some of this code. I want the code that allows me to move the square around. So I'm going to come down here and just take, I don't want the ball movie clip, take from here, up, all that, right click, copy that. Go back to here, my one I'm working on, 
select my actions layer, open the actions panel, and paste it in. Now if I look at this, I'm just making a function that allows this to go over and over and over again. I'm going to need that later on. But I can see I have a function here and a function here. One is to uh, drag the, the uh, movie clip around, the square. The other one is to drop it. But I see I don't have enough brackets. There's an open curly bracket here, but I should have one more down here. And there it is there. And now when I do this, auto format, expecting some kind of identifier before the end of the program on line tw 19 and 20. So let's see what 19 and 20 tells me. Right down here. I think I have the wrong closed bracket here. I think that's what I did wrong. Close curly bracket. Yeah, that's better. Simple mistake. Love that oh, put, put that compiler. Tells you where the errors are. So now when we touch test this, we have no errors. I can click on the red, nothing happens. I can click on the blue and move it around and leave it go. So that's the code for the blue. Now let's say I wanted to have both codes. I can go back to that same FLA that I was getting the information from and copy for the red, the ball. So I went from here up to here. This is all the code for the ball. Right click, copy that. Open the one I use. Clicking after this second last one. A couple enters, paste it in. Now I should be able to move both of those symbols. I can move that one, move that one. Now we have another movie clip uh, uh, FLA up here, this one. So let's open it. And what I want from here is this if. So I'm co copying this, just to show you, you can copy pieces of it. Right click, copy, back to the one I'm working on. And I want it to be, that's why we need this here, uh, enter stage, uh, listener. I'm, again, I'm going between these two last curly brackets, couple enters, pasting this information in. But my ball is ball one, so I have to make this ball one. And I have a square one, S-Q-U-A-R-E one. So now when they hit, I'm going to have something happen. I could go to another stage. I could change the score on something. I could make something bigger, make something smaller, make something move, anything I want. But just to show you how it works and how to move this code around, I'm just going to trace the word hit when they hit. No errors. If I drag this around and hit it, it traces the word hit over here. If I drag this one around and hit it, it traces the word over here. Okay, now before I go, what you want to do is close off these one at a time. Close this off. And if it asks you, do you want to save your changes, say no. Because these may be files you don't want to mess around with. You just want to use them. So click it off. If it says, do you want to save the change? No, I don't want to save any changes on them. But when I close this one, I want to save the changes because that's my new FLA. Hope you learned something from this short tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.